Alrighty. So this is going to be a reading for my Libras for September 2019. Thank you so, so much for joining me back on my YouTube channel. This is going to be a reading for who's coming towards you. So this is going to be strictly a love reading. If you are interested in more general messages, definitely check out my other readings that are up. And yes, please keep in mind also this reading is general. So everything I say may or may not apply to you specifically. And if you are someone who is looking for personal guidance, uh, a one-on-one -on -one session with me, all of my information will be listed in the comment section as well as the description box, as well as my Patreon. So you guys can go ahead and get those extended messages um, personally through the Patreon tier. So definitely check that out as well. Alrighty, so let's go ahead and get straight into it. Libras for September 2019. What's the energy surrounding the person that's coming towards my Libras for September 2019? Three more shuffles. Libras. September 2019. All right, so your feelings for your person, your person's feelings for you, off score issue, next set of actions, advice, and the outcome. One second. Libras for September 2019. What's the energy surrounding the love life? September 2019. Any advice for the love life? Okay. So let's go ahead and get straight into the reading. So first thing I want to cover are the Oracle cards and then we'll go ahead and get into the actual spread. So with the Oracle cards, we have engagement and it says your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. I also have honeymoon and it says enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. And bottom of the deck, we have romantic feelings and it says your feelings are real and worth exploring. So for a lot of my Libras out there, especially if you have been single for some time, I am seeing that a connection will be going to the next level this month, or you guys will be trying to take things to the next level. Um, with this, for some of you, you could even be traveling with your significant other. For others of you, this could even be you spending like alone time with each other, or even being just in the honeymoon stage of your connection here. Um, also, for some of you, there also could be distant energy as far as Somebody being completely present in the relationship due to the fact that there is a lack of trust, okay? Even if this is a newer person, there could be, again, some trust issues lingering. And also, for some of you, there could even be, like, a codependency issue as far as addictions being present or, like, somebody, you know, being addicted to the other person emotionally, physically, or using the other person financially, what have you. For others of you, again, I'm seeing a newer situation where you will be getting to know someone new completely and you guys will be seeing where things could go with that. That's only if this is a newer person. If this is a past person we're talking about, a lot of you guys are in a distant mind state, a distant mind state when it comes to what's going on with that situation because, again, you may not trust this person and you, you guys may still be dealing with this person out of codependency, like you just being familiar with this person. But when it comes to the advice for your love life for September, I do have time. And it says you're trying too hard. Give it time. And then I also have deep down in your heart, you already know the answer. Do what feels right. So I feel as if you guys internally will know exactly what to do as time progresses. Right now, I wouldn't say force any sort of a decision or make any sort of moves just just yet because things are not 100% clear to you just yet so allow things to unfold as time progresses and then make your move but don't try to force an outcome right now because things are not yet revealed now let's go ahead and get straight into the spread I laid out 
So the first card I do want to address in the spread is your feelings for your person. I do have the tower. And with the tower, you could be feeling like, okay, this situation is a little unstable right now. I don't know what the hell to do. Okay, um, this shit is falling apart. And you could be also feeling as if your partner just in general may be a little unstable. With the emperor in reverse, this person may not have their stuff together or have their life all the way in control. Okay, especially if you are dealing with an Aries, Taurus, maybe even a Capricorn. But you could be wanting to release any sort of toxic tie you may have with anyone who may have been also kind of a little too controlling, too overbearing. Okay. For some of you, this could have also been a Leo. All right. But what I am seeing as well for your person's feelings for you, Libras, I do have the death card in reverse. So this person's not wanting the situation to end. I also feel like this person is a little... This person feels like you're a little stuck in your ways. I'm going to be honest with you. This person does feel like you're a little stuck in your ways, but they also don't want the situation to end. They feel like the reason why the relationship isn't getting better, though, is because, again, you're, you're not changing the way that you're going about it. Again, this is how they're viewing it. This is not how I'm viewing it. OK, just had to throw it out there. But they still care about you deeply. They're definitely in their feelings about you, and they're a little emotionally confused about which direction to go in with this. Now, when it comes to the obscure issue that may come up in your love life this month, I do have the Ace of Coins. So with the Ace of Coins, this may be you guys starting new, getting a, a new connection off the ground for some of you. Because again, these trust issues may be lingering with the strength card in reverse. You feel like you cannot do it anymore. And you feel like if any secrets, any more secrets come out, you're going to blow your top basically. Um, also for some of you, again, there may have been some deception that may have came out and it's like, I don't know if I could go back into that, start fresh for others of you. Again, a situation that you were in prior to a newer situation popping up, there may have been deception and it's making it hard for you to open up. But for your person's next set of actions towards you, I do have the Knight of coins in reverse. With this, I feel like this person did want to actually work this situation out with you, but they feel like you may not be open to it if they offer. So they may not be acting to actually do so, um, to actually fix things with you. I feel like they think you're a little pissed and they really want to make sure you're not mad at them anymore before they actually try to show up, especially if this is a earth sign, fire sign, whoever. Also, if they did cheat on you, they know that they have some players ways they need to work on. But what I am seeing for the advice, I do have the four of wands with this. I would definitely make sure you're focusing more on your, your family situation, making sure that's in order and also your sense of like stability. I'm also seeing as well that. You do need to take in consideration of the fact that you need a stable relationship where it's going to be supportive of you and your partner. And if you know that's not going to be the case, instead of going back into situations like that, that are going to put you at ease or, you know, take you off of your, your, what is it? take you off your rocker or throw you off, then that's going to always be the problem. Also, if you guys are dealing with the situation where, you know, you keep taking this person back because you think it's going to be that type of situation, understand that this may be a form of codependency. You may need to sit back and actually see things for what it is and why you keep going back into it or why you want to go back into that. But what I am seeing for the outcome of this month for my Libras, I do have the hangman in reverse with the hangman in reverse is actually a very positive card to have. This is you guys being able to see things from a different perspective and actually gain that enlightenment from being in being in an uncomfortable position for some time. And I feel like a, some of you guys will be still anxious about a connection you have with someone, but you will realize that there's still going to be issues with you guys healing certain things within the connection if you don't address the problems here. And for some of you guys, the root of what the issues are within your relationship may be rooted within the way your family is set up. So a lot of you guys are needing to do some evaluation um, more than anything, or you guys are going to be going into a state of evaluation of your relationship and everything that's been leading up into this point, honestly. 
So that's pretty much what I'm seeing, Libras. I hope that I was able to give anyone out there some sort of guidance or clarity for what you guys are going through. If this did resonate, please make sure you like this video, comment below, and subscribe. And go ahead and book me if you do need some personal guidance. Um, it's definitely informative. It's definitely helpful. So reach out, and I will see you guys in the next one. Have an awesome September. Bye, Libras.